Hey guys, Todd Falcone here. Wanted to do a video post here in my new office. I'm pretty sure this is my first post in my new Scottsdale office. And it's been a while since I've produced a video. I've been in the process of moving from Seattle down to Scottsdale. I think I did one short video the other day on the Home Business Radio Network. But um, I, wanted, I, was, I was inspired by a video, that I, an interview that I watched uh, this morning with R. Jonak and Orrin Woodward on the subject of, uh, of conflict re resolution in an organization and um, how important that is to uh, resolve conflict and how to resolve conflict. And it also got my mind working around um, the subject of uh, motivation and inspiration and things that we can either do to inspire uh, an organization to grow and do stuff or to literally crush any motivation that exists within our team. And there is some very, very specific ways that you can quite literally kill your organizational growth. In fact, completely, you know, obliterate it, uh, any chance of growth or any chance of, of anything happening. And I wanted to heed a warning to you guys just so that you're aware of the things that you're doing so that you don't have this happen. Because I've seen it happen a number of times where an organization is growing. Um, in some cases, a, a group will stall, and that's pretty typical, where maybe because of any number of reasons, uh, the growth doesn't really, you know, just kind of flattens out a little bit, and you got to push past those flat moments to, to get into, into another growth mode. And, and things happen. People are human, and people make different decisions. Uh, um, one thing that you don't want to do is never plant the seeds of doubt uh, with anyone in your organization because it quite literally poisons your organization. And the uh, phrase that I heard a long time ago is never pour poison down river, no, never pour poison downstream. In other words, and if you've been around network marketing for any period of time, you'd like, you've likely heard the term, you know, if, if you got great news, take it down line. If you got bad news or if you got an issue, take it up line. Because if you're taking bad news or bad information down line into your organization, you're quite literally poisoning the life within that organization. So you have to be very, very careful of what you communicate to your team. Even if it's like you have a buddy or someone you consider as a friend um, and you're communicating something to them, you're, if, it's, if it's not positive, you, you could be planting the seeds of doubt and then you know recovery is often quite challenging and sometimes impossible. So you have to be extremely careful with the things that you're communicating to your team because they're looking up to you as the leader and when the leader for even a second has doubt or expresses that doubt to any of them, it begins to, uh, essentially, it, it, it begins to expand. In fact, I remember a, a very specific example. I had a very large group in a company. Um, the guy who was in this particular leg uh, had a growing organization. Was uh, you know every month his volume was increasing. It was up to about eighty thousand dollars a month in volume. And I'm watching the group, and all of a sudden, you know, there was a volume dip. And I thought, well, that's interesting. Hmm, interesting. Not because I'm watching the genealogy. And then the next month there was another dip, and I thought, oh, that's interesting because he had month in month out growth, and then two months of drops when the rest of the company was growing, and and. He also took his auto ship from two cases a month, which is 200 bucks a month, down to one case a month at 100 bucks a month, with, which was a clear message that something was wrong. So I picked up the phone, I called him. I didn't get a return phone call, picked up the phone, called him, didn't get a return phone call. I know that there's a problem now and I'm looking to address it and f figure out what that conflict might be or what that issue might be. And finally, after about three phone calls and not getting a return phone call, I left a pretty harsh message. I said, look, Terry, I can tell there's already an issue. There's something going on. Um, you don't owe me anything, but I know that there's something wrong. Just give me a call and let me know what's up. Obviously, I can tell you're on your way out or there's some issue that's pretty major because I can see your volume's dropping and your auto ship is cut in half. So the phone rang and uh, we had a chat and the chat was around this issue. He had heard a rumor that we were going to, this company that I was involved in, we were going to be owned by this other company because of some lawsuit. And he'd never done multi-level before. He never thought, well, maybe I should find out if there's any truth or validation to this and go upline and ask, is there truth to this? Is there any truth to this? Instead, he went and he started telling his downline members, look, I don't know if we're going to make it. I don't know if this company is going to happen long term. And he literally poured poison in his organization, um, planted the seeds of doubt, heavily planted the seeds of doubt in his organization. And over time, instead of that, that, that organization continuing to grow, it began to dissipate and a road away to, you know, a year, year and a half later, it was down to nothing. And, you know, <clears throat> the interesting thing is, we weren't owned by that other company. 
uh, we won whatever that lawsuit was, the lawsuit went away, uh, and the company is still in business today. So just kind of interesting what happens when you plant the seeds of doubt. You have to be really, really careful. People are looking to you, and the moment you show weakness uh, to anyone on your team, and you're, you're showing any doubt, um, they, by the way, might not tell you, oh, I, I, I'm doubting your, your belief in what we're doing now, but they'll, they'll, they're already wondering. So you have to be very, very careful with the, how you, and what you communicate with your team downstream into your sales organization, into your group. Be very, very careful of what you're communicating because it will have an, a huge, huge impact on whether that organization continues to grow or not. And I've seen a lot of people poison their groups by just making poor decisions. So just want to help you out on that. We'll see you on another video sometime soon, I'm sure. We'll see you. Todd Falcone, thanks for watching.